utility worker is seriously injured when a driver crashes into him. As Amy DuPont explains, Milwaukee police say the crash was preventable because the driver shouldn't have been behind the wheel. Extremely tragic. The pieces of plastic mark the spot where a night at work took a terrible turn. It is definitely an epidemic. A private utility worker was on the job at 6th and State, his truck warning lights flashing when police say a drunk driver slammed into him, pinning the 35-year-old between his truck and the suspect's vehicle. I believe he's surviving, but he was in surgery. The driver stayed on scene. He was treated for minor injuries, then placed under arrest for suspected OWI and driving on a revoked license. We're ultimately dealing with personal behavior and if people are going to choose to drink and choose to drive. For Alderman Robert Bauman, who represents this neighborhood. It's on the top of everybody's mind every single day. The crash is frustrating, but not at all surprising. It's pretty hard to stop them preemptively, and so we clean up the messes after the fact. Crashes like these have become common in the city of Milwaukee. So common, in fact, the Common Council put together a reckless driving task force to come up with solutions. They've been meeting for 10 months now. Their report is due at the end of this month. In downtown Milwaukee, Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News.